Hey, I'm Charting Man Dan. If you like this video, I encourage you to check out our website, thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis, learning, and education, where we broadcast live market coverage every morning, provide live chart consultation, and point out key levels on your favorite plays in our community chat room. Why not check out our free trial and join the best technical analysis community online? Looking at Netflix on the daily and weekly time frame, another doji formed. The previous two days were close enough to a doji. They mean the same thing, indecision. Long lower wick showing the bulls did buy the dips, but the upper wick showing that there was some profit taking as well. So clearly the bulls and the bears are struggling here at the 122 to 126 level. Not quite sure which direction we are headed, but the indecision at the top of an uptrend always signals potential for downside. So if we get a red day on the half trading day Friday, it will confirm this bearish reversal doji. And we'll see how low we drop. 120 is established support. We've had three candlesticks bounce off that level. After that, the 10-day moving average is 117.82. One good thing for the bulls is while they do trade sideways here in this indecision period, each day the 10-day moving average and the 20-day moving average creep higher and higher up as support. So we'll be watching for a red day on Friday. If it happens, we'll be expecting some pullback and definitely seeing some resistance above the 125, 126 level where we keep pulling back from. On the weekly chart, we are forming a bit of a doji or a hammer at the top of an uptrend is a bearish reversal signal again. We'll see how this pattern changes after the half day Friday, but if it does end up being a doji, we'll be looking for a red candlestick next week confirming the bearish reversal. But as long as this middle Bollinger Band support holds, we will be trading in the bullish upper Bollinger Band channel, which is a good long-term sign on the weekly chart. So that's what we're looking at for Netflix. Definitely a lot of back and forth here. We'll see who ends up winning, the Bulls or the Bears. If you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put them out daily. The website, again, thechartguys.com. I can convey information much more efficiently, live on webcam, utilizing the five-minute charts. They allow for much more detailed support and resistance levels, as well as up-to-the-minute changes in trend that these daily charts just don't capture. So come on by for a free week, see what I'm talking about. I look forward to meeting you. Thanks for watching the video. Have a wonderful, happy holiday.